Welcome to Fast Effect Double Speed Magic the Gathering. Here I have Caleb on Is It Delver squaring off against Peter on Fassa's Lash. This contest is going to look a lot like Peter just trying to win and Caleb trying to prevent that while chipping in there with some assortment of creatures. We'll see. Typically you want to have that first turn Delver. Maybe he'll be able to land that on the second turn. He's got a Brainstorm plus Fetch Land. So he does have the Delver, but it will be flipping blind as the shuffle effect has changed the top of the library. Ancient Tomb for Peter. Powerful Accelerant, though the life loss is of consequence in this match. There are plenty of matchups in Legacy where it's largely irrelevant playing against something like you know, sneak and show. Who cares if you take some damage? There are some critical life points where you start to win or lose some percentages. Delver not flipping means this ponder may be suboptimal just to make sure that it actually does flip. Ensuring that there's an instant or sorcery on top. Occasionally you need to leave a counterspell stranded and it's just worth the window. Brainstorm allows for the flip, and that's really ideal. At this point, Delver's just going to turn sideways each turn, and Caleb wants more and more counter magic. Just don't lose, and eventually Caleb will win. He has inevitability on his side, and Peter's got to find a way to resolve some key spells despite Force and Days out of his hand. We got Force pitching Jace, the potential combo piece to go along with this Thought Lash. Brazen Borrower going on an adventure. Petty Theft is going to bounce this Thought Lash. And we'll see if Peter's able to do anything here. Looks like he's going to go down to just one card in hand. Sets up a bubble of protection which will go away. Thought Lash now back in his hand, possibly just a bad thing, as it could be another blue card to de defend his combo, pitching to another Force of Will. So that Petty Theft not actually helping. And here we go. Thassa's Oracle. We've got a Brainstorm from Caleb. This looks like a Hail Mary. Sometimes you just draw into multiple counter spells, though, but that's not going to happen this time as Peter really showcasing the power of this deck. Bass's Lash. Very impressive so far. We've got a lot of reps in with Cephalid Breakfast. Well, not a lot. I've The rare occasion when I've been able to play Legacy lately, I've been able to play Cephalid Breakfast, another Thassa's Oracle deck. And I'll tell you, the games where you draw Thassa's Oracle... Especially post-board, very dangerous. The ability to mill yourself out and then put in the Thassa's Oracle, or put in the Thassa's Oracle and mill yourself out in response to the trigger. I mean, no matter how it's going down, it's very, very difficult to disrupt in that regard. And this list is a, a bit of a work in progress. It's not entirely clear what the best build of Thassa's Lash is going to be. We've seen uh, Socrates playing on camera, Using a build with Limduel's Vault. I believe Peter's build here has that green splash as we've seen the waterlogged grove that may allow for Veil of Summer. Green's a popular splash color now. You got a basically a red elemental blast that draws a card in certain matchups. Very often red elemental blast is just countering their counters. Veil of Summer basically does that. Also important for these A-B combos where you just have like two cards that you need to get into your hand. I'm talking about things like show and tell or, I mean, obviously this qualifies Paradigm Shift plus Thassa's Oracle already in your hand. Alluren was in that category. There are several. Cephalid Breakfast. Anything where you really need to get cards into your hand in order to make your combo happen is compared to, say, a Storm combo. Or you might just need a bunch of mana and then like one card. Uh, discard can be very strong. I mean, it can be strong against most combo decks, but in particular, the AB combo decks, discard when played appropriately, is one of the more difficult things to contend with. And we've got a chalice at one. 
a devastating play versus Delver, and it does resolve. Young Pyromancer, one of the better replies. And Peter is going to throw a force at that, but it gets dazed. So Young Pyromancer has arrived. Oh, is that... That looks like a hollowed fountain. Was I thinking this was a green splash? I can't imagine this is Bant. I may have saw those cards incorrectly. Now we've got a chain lightning just to make a body. And those burn spells are going to be able to be thrown right into the bin along with the cantrips. The cantrips perhaps going to be a little bit more cautious as those can be blue cards for force of will or force of negation. And now Thoughtlash with a Pyroblast getting countered and a force of will. So it does stop the Thoughtlash. This hand would have been incredibly strong if it wasn't for the Chalice. Six damage coming in. And if Peter faces one more counter spell, oh no, this is going to be it. He throws a Ponder into the bin. Brutal Thought Lash shows up with Lethal on board. Everything turns sideways and it's time to prevent. Seven damage. Thought Lash doing work. The cumulative upkeep has started. And now the question is, with only one card left in hand, can Peter get a Thassa's Oracle? Really, in, in any form. If he can find a Shell Dock Isle to find a Thassa's Oracle, just anything. That is the only thing that matters right now for him, is finding that Thassa's Oracle and resolving it. It's pretty much Force of Will, the only relevant card. Looks like the white is for Tefiri. There's a Shell Dock Isle. Can it find what Peter is looking for? He may have to contend with land destruction. But, I mean, what else are you going to do? Everything turning sideways. Damage prevented again. Hole Breacher hanging out over there, but not likely to matter very much. Ancient Tomb, no real help. Casting, oh, a, looks like it is Thassa's Oracle as Caleb just scooping it up there. And yeah, that is, that is how quickly things can turn with this deck. He did find the, the Shell Dock Isle, which... I mean, that's apparently a legacy playable card. That is all for this one, but don't worry. There is a lot more. Uh, you can check out our older videos, and we're always putting out new videos from ELD's Time Vault Games in Bellingham, Massachusetts. If you want to help the channel, of course, you can like, subscribe, share, tap that notification bell so you can know uh, the next time our new videos come out. Thanks for watching.